Thank you very much, my dear friends, my fellow, fellow Pali alumni, and wonderful people that have come here this morning to attend this wonderful occasion. Um, I'm the only one that doesn't have a prepared script. Um, I have an inferiority feeling about having a prepared script because when I skip a, a line or a, or a comment, I feel as though I've betrayed the writer of the script. So um, when I forget a line, that, I attribute that to age and go on to the next one. As a matter of fact, um, one of the problems with age is that um, uh, we have momentarily, momentary lapses, we call them senior moments, when some people come up and say hi and you know who, damn, who they are damn well and you can't place a name at the moment. And I'm forever grateful that for those people that come up and say, hi Joe, I'm Fred so-and-so. And I say, oh Fred, of course, I <laughs> want it wonderful to see you. Uh, but I have seen a lot of friends here today and I'm extremely grateful for it. Yes, I grew up in a uh, ethnic community in Brooklyn, a Lebanese community. Uh, you know that uh, line about the teeming masses. Uh, Brooklyn happened to be a, um, uh, a very metropolitan uh, borough of, uh, of the city in that um, uh, it had very distinct uh, ethnic uh, groups uh, who tended to live together because of the comfort of the home language. And um, the Lebanese community in, in Brooklyn was a strong and extensive one. And uh, the success stories of Lebanese who were raised in that environment uh, are something, uh, it, the success stories are something that I'm very proud of. And I talk about it in, in the book I wrote called The Anatomy of the Entrepreneur. And one of the things that was um, taught to me and all of the, other, the young Lebanese people was the importance of integrity. You know, the Lebanese are known as great traders and um, uh, they have been throughout the, throughout the uh, centuries. Uh, uh, but they did invent the uh, alphabet, as you know, and the reason for it was that uh, the, the, uh, it was necessary to record the agreements that they made because they were so inviolate they wanted to be sure that the agreements that they made in the tra tra trading activities were uh, recorded properly. And um, we were taught as youngsters that uh, uh, there is nothing more valuable than a person has than his word. Uh, it's, a, um, it's a standard that I've lived by, and all of my friends of Lebanese background uh, live by the same standard uh, of integrity. Uh, that's easily translatable in, in, into, into uh, engineering uh, because uh, uh, the title, the uh, importance of professionalism among engineers on which I've written very extensively is essentially the same thing. Um, uh, professionalism means integrity, means um, uh, keeping a high standard of, uh, of your, uh, keeping your word and a high standard of the uh, establishing of criteria for engineering effort. The education I got at Poly was indeed a stepping stone for me and uh, to the extent that the life that I've lived and my wife and I have lived, uh, represent the fulfillment of the American dream. We acknowledge that Lebanese background. We acknowledge that Polytechnic was the stepping stone for the youngest son of uh, an immigrant father and mother. My mother, as you know, if you read my biography, was absolutely illiterate. She can, could read or write no language at all, not even Arabic. Uh, but um, as I've said many times, 
uh, she was a classy lady and represented standards of performance that were as rigid and hard as any examination you took for engineering. Uh, forgive me for rambling on this way. I just uh, I want to talk to you from my heart. This is a most heartwarming uh, welcome that you've given to Vi and me and to our family. Um, uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is where we came from. This is what we're proud of. And uh, what Polytechnic does uh, uh, is something that will go on forever after we're long gone. Uh, the only difference between Don Othmer, my mentor and teacher that I have for many years, and myself and our family is that I'm selfish. Don wasn't. I'm selfish in that I wanted to see the results of any help that I could give. <laughs> I was still alive. And today represents uh, uh, an accomplishment of, of that great dream of mine to see Polytechnic prosper and fulfill its role, uh, role of uh, uh, taking people of modest means and giving them a step, stepping stone to become a part of the American dream for which I'm so grateful myself. And I want to thank you all very much for coming today. Uh, God bless you all and thanks again. Love to my family as well.